What's up guys, it's Kevin here. Um, I'm here with a new video. Uh, um, my girlfriend and I are gonna be celebrating our fifth year together and I just thought I'd do like a quick little packing video for what we're gonna be taking. So we're gonna be going to Santa Cruz in California for the weekend of the, I guess like the 4th of July weekend. I don't know why I said it's so weird. And I just thought I'd show you guys what I'm going to be taking. I'm going to try to limit my social media as much as I can uh, during um, our little anniversary trip. So if you guys have any questions and I don't reply back immediately, it's because of that. Um, and if you guys do want to keep up with me, follow me on Instagram at Kevin.IMG. I'm going to be probably posting some stuff after our anniversary. Uh, as well as like fits and all that other stuff. But right now, Instagram's being a little bit weird. I can't load any stories or upload anything. So um, Instagram, like get on your shit. So right now, let's see, what should we start? Start with the bag. So the bag, I have the John Elliott duffel bag from the, I think, Running Waters collection. Let me just, uh, Watching Waters collection. It's this like nice, like almost camo but it's this like washed camo, which kind of looks like a black duffel bag that had a little bit of acid print on it. Um, I got this from their annual, or I think now it might be a bi-annual um, uh, sample sale slash like warehouse sale where stuff goes for like 50% off. And I think it's like super crazy. They have it in LA once or twice a year. And I always manage to pick something up really crazy. I think I got this for like maybe 30 bucks. 30 bucks, YKK zips, um, just everything super nice. It's like mainline, I think it's from season nine. And this is a really good duffel bag. I normally use it for my gym bag, but I'm gonna be only away for about three days or so. So I'm gonna be packing light. So let's start with outerwear cause it is gonna be a little bit colder in Santa Cruz compared to San Diego right now. So what I'm taking with me is my trusty Patagonia uh, bomber jacket. Big fan, big, 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 big Gonia energy, you know? The Waikiki Zips A1, the comfort of it, as well as the warmth of it, it's honestly, like I said multiple times, just by vintage uh, Patagonia, made in the USA bombers, and this will just last you forever. This is my favorite um, jacket that I pretty much have ever purchased, which sounds crazy, because I know I have bought the J28K, as well as the J43K, and then, you know, those were like, you know, prized after jackets, but this is honestly my favorite jacket, hands down. Next up, uh, I'm gonna be wearing the Jound Oatmeal Crewnecks. The Jound Oatmeal Crewneck is a crewneck that I honestly don't wear as often as I should, which is why I'm taking it on the trip. Cotton is like extremely soft, extremely, um, extremely durable as well, because I have worn this like quite a few times earlier on in I think 2019 when it came out and Caroline really likes it so Caroline wears this a lot she likes to take a lot of my sweaters honestly I'm waiting for them to release the hoodie in the oatmeal color or sweatpants slash sweat shorts but I remember um John said or Justin or whoever runs the Instagram said that it's stuck in USA Canada customs so hopefully it gets released soon I'm really waiting for either the sweat shorts I feel like that'd be super sick and continuing on with the uppers, I have the APC Kanye Hip Hop Tee. Favorite, favorite white t-shirt that I mentioned. Uh, just a clean, thin white t-shirt. I really love this for summer. Uh, I have another one that I'm gonna be bringing probably, but that one is like in an XL and I like to just kind of tuck it in and have it be real oversized. Another t-shirt that I'm bringing is going to be the Arteryx. I think it's like pocket, like weird pocket t-shirt that's like almost like this weird seam material but it's this like nylon stretch poly t-shirt that i'm probably going to be wearing um in the case that i do go hiking or maybe we're going to be going in the city i'm going to be probably wearing this in my acronym p10s next up is just kind of like kind of dress pants i got this from represent represent clothing um probably about a year ago now yeah so this is their smoker pant and it's sort of like a dress smart looking pant but it is cropped um i do like this probably for our nice dinner or our nice anniversary dinner i'm going to be wearing this and like a button-up shirt 
And another thing I'm gonna be bringing are my acronym P10s. Pretty much just hands down one of my favorite pants. I'd be doing a disservice to the pants if I didn't bring them. Very lightweight, very nice. And I think I'm sort of getting used to like the fit of the small. It does fit a little bit looser than a lot of my pants, but I think I'm slowly getting accustomed to that. So I am a big fan of the P10s. If you guys have the chance, maybe try picking up any of the acronym pants and then you definitely would feel the difference between a pair of acronym bottoms compared to a few other, you know, let's say um, something from Enfant Leve or Arterix. But Arterix makes good pants, so I mean, like check them all out. Oh, I forgot. Like what I'm wearing is pretty much what I'm gonna be also bringing. So I have this Tom Sachs um, 10 bullets tee. On the back it says, I can't fail because of me. Um, it's printed on just like a Fruit of the Loom t-shirt, which it shrinks after you wash it. So for this t-shirt, um, I'm five foot eight, five foot seven ish. Um, and I'm about 140 pounds. I got a medium and it fits like this. Uh, I'm going to be doing some on body, especially for this t-shirt. Cause like, I, I feel like, um, Tom Sex, I really wish they printed on a different t-shirt or at least a pre-shrunken Mars Yard cause, or not Mars Yard, pre-shrunken Fruit of the Loom. Cause I'm pretty sure this is going to fit like super tight, which is kind of what I wanted, but I also got a few larges that are coming in. And I think those are going to be like super handy. So I guess for accessories, I'm going to be bringing this exterminator hat that actually one of my good friends got me for my, I think, I think it was for like a trip that we took around like a backpacking trip, actually. Um, me, me and a few friends just went on a backpacking trip. I wore this hat constantly and he just graciously gifted it to me. And I wear this really, really frequently. I love this hat. It's, it's 100% A1. I can't find another one like this because I think it was only sold um, or given to employees of the exterminator company. So A1, I think it's auto. Yeah, O-T-T-O. -T -T -O. So see if you guys can find any. Uh, I'm sure there could be one or two on Etsy or you can probably get it custom made, but I really like the four screen on this. And I guess another accessory that I'm gonna be bringing is the Tom Sachs 10 Bullets Dyneema little shoulder bag slash fanny pack. Um, this, it's just like a Dyneema bag with like two layers in it, N not, nothing too special. The material is nice. I like the porcelain tips that they made um, in office. I'm a big fan of like the natural colored nylon, like this like off-white tan looking one with the red contrast, red contrast stitching, excuse me. And yeah, it's just like a quick thing for like if we go on hikes or if we go on anything. They're gonna be A1. I liked the black as well as the white. I wasn't a huge fan of the shade of gray that they used. I feel like they could have definitely gone for like a crazy color or something like that, but I like the black, I like the white, and the gray's okay, but I like these guys. And I guess for toiletries, um, I got this little Aesop traveling bag, which is really nice. It pretty much carries like all the basic skincare stuff that I really need. Um, I have the Intune Lines Facial Cleanser. I have the Lightweight Facial Hydrating Serum. Um, I'm a big fan of the Lightweight. Really good for my summer, or for the summer oiliness. And I have the Avail Facial Sunscreen, Facial Lotion with SPF or sunscreen. Um, this one's really good, especially because like California gets crazy amount of sun and it is a bit harsh on your skin. So really like that. And I brought just Aesop toothpaste as well as Aesop body cleanser. Um, pretty much just the essentials. Obviously, I'm going to be bringing like my toothbrush as well as like my contact face and contact solution, but that doesn't fit in here. So just going to be throwing that in the bag. And another thing that I'm going to be bringing is like these compression pants, Nike Pro. I have like two or three more. I'm just going to show one. I really like these guys for exercising or running around in the city uh, as well as like just having like nice compression pants. For some reason, I really like wearing compression pants as well as like uh, the Uniqlo Airs and Boxers. A1. So for footwear, be wearing the Jound Club C's. Really like these guys. Um, I have been beating these guys up, but I just want to keep on wearing them because I think they look super sick uh, when they're being worn and they already have a few scuffs as well as like the bottoms are getting kind of worn a bit, but I really do like these guys. Pick them up before they either go crazy up in price 
or they disappear. So, Jound, Club C, Club C85 or something like that. Really like these, as well as, oof, I was wearing these already. The No Vacancy 990s V3, uh, the water and Wi-Fi. Really like the concept of this, as well as the quality is really, really nice, as well as the comfort. Ah, the quality, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by my email. 990 V3s are extremely, extremely, extremely comfortable shoes. Uh, the water and Wi-Fi, I really like the concept of it. And the inspiration for like, these also come with red laces. And the inspiration for that is like an old photo that Steve Jobs had wearing New Balances with red laces. And I just think it looks so dope. I'm going for a more clean, like minimal style. So that's why I threw in these ice blue colored laces. They also come with dark navy laces as well. And I think the 990 V3s and the entire 990 series is just such a comfortable shoe. But the reason why I didn't get the V5s is I like the tongue of the V3s a lot. I just like the almost like the weird texture that it has. I just really dig it. If anybody has the Jown 990 V3s, hit me up in like a size anywhere between like a seven and a half to like a nine. Hit me up. I really want those. Um, these guys are probably one of my favorites, primarily because they are like a light blue navy colorway, and blue is my favorite color, so A1, love it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will talk to you guys soon. The next video, I believe that's coming out, is gonna be the acronym P10s, and the one after then is gonna be another Grail video, because I haven't done an update from my 2017 video, which is now quite a bit outdated and i still get uh constant messages to legit check off white belts um mm, so uh yeah i'll talk to you guys next time peace